Thank you. Hello, hello and good evening. My name is Steve Ramirez, Mr. Ramirez, the principal of Countryside High School and Tech Prep High School. Welcome to our 2021 graduation ceremony. We're only a few minutes away from starting, but I just kind of wanted to review a few house rules uh, so that tonight's ceremony goes uh, as smoothly as possible. Uh, if you will, keep the aisles clear for the graduates to enter and exit the auditorium. Our graduates will be entering the double doors pretty much directly in front of me. And at the conclusion of the ceremony, they'll be exiting the next aisle to my left and out through the front doors. Once our graduates exit the auditorium, and keep in mind this is largely due to COVID protocols, please do not gather in the foyer. Please make your way out of the building and towards the parking lot. I don't see any balloon bouquets out there, but if we do get any balloon bouquets, please put them in the back or off to the side so that they don't block anyone's view. Don't forget to silence your cell phones. Remember, we are you know, indoors. Uh, please keep your mask on and maintain social distancing. And last but not least, be kind, courteous, and respectful to those around you. Remember, our graduates deserve this time on stage. Let's not disappoint. Thank you. Again, we'll be, go we'll be pretty much ready to start right at 7 o'clock. Thanks again.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We are going to hold off for an additional five minutes, okay? So we should be starting at about 7.05. Thank you.
up front, yeah. I will call a teacher right now and get one prepared. Thank you, sir. Do yeah. you want me to walk this, sir? I'll just walk it. You don't have to call it. I'll just walk okay. it. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. Good deal. There we go. Okay, members of the audience, we are now ready. Thank you for your patience. Uh, if you would, please direct your attention to the uh, rear doors directly ahead of me. And join me in welcoming to the stage the Countryside High School and Tech Prep High School graduating class. Leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance is Anaya Hunter. Everybody ready? Salute. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Once again, good evening and welcome. My name is Steve Ramirez, and I am the principal for Countryside High School and Tech Prep High School. It's great to have you all here tonight to share in this moment and what a year it's been. Before I continue, I would like to acknowledge the adults on this stage that make it possible for us to serve and support students the way we do. From our school board, we have, and if you would please stand as I call your name, board clerk Laura Fonseca, Board Trustee Kathy Maderos. Board President Craig Hamilton. And from our district office, we have Superintendent Tony Rodriguez. 
Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Lucy Van Syok. Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Barbara Oricio. And Assistant Superintendent, Tammy Aldaco. And not to forget about the person kind of directly behind me, who is in large part the heart and soul of, of our schools as well, uh, Liz Roach, our school counselor. And though they're not on stage with me tonight, uh, to all the other staff in attendance, I want to send a special thank you for your unwavering support, patience, caring, and understanding in helping to ensure that the graduates seated on this stage have all earned the right to participate in tonight's celebration. Thank you all so much. Now back to what a year it's been. While this school year was not quite what any of us could have imagined due to, the on, due to the ongoing pandemic, we again found ourselves in distance learning when this school year started. We learned quickly that while distance learning worked for some, there was no replacing the in-person contact and support, both academically and social-emotionally, made possible by returning students to campus. And Though it took getting th through three quarters of the school year before students were able to return, at least at Countryside High School and Tech Prep High School, we were able to do so with some degree of normalcy. As many of you know, the path taken for some of our graduates to get seated on this stage tonight was at times bumpy and full of uncertainty. And though we cannot completely make up for the lost time students endured while trying to learn from home via Zoom, they showed lots of resilience while adapting well to the changes around them. In the end, their perseverance, willingness to succeed, and no doubt, lots of support from staff, uh, excuse me, family, and friends alike got them to the finish line and seated on this stage tonight. Students, Growing up and life itself can be challenging, but as famed educator Stephen Covey once said, don't be a product of circumstance. Choose to be a product of your decisions. Remember, the choices you make today will determine what tomorrow will look like. Thank you. Now we have the pleasure of hearing from two students from Countryside High School who graciously volunteered, they were not voluntold, they did volunteer, to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2021. The first student I want to welcome to the podium is Natalie Greco. Good evening, parents, teachers, administrators, and my fellow graduating class of 2021. Before I present my remarks, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our principal, Mr. Ramirez, as well as Ms. Rocha, Ms. Austin, Ms. Castaneda, Ms. Lisa, v Ms. Vicky, Ms. Hinojosa, Ms. Rule, and all the other counselors, mentors, and therapists who pushed and supported us as we built the foundation for our futures. As we prepare to go forward in life, whether that be college, university, trade school, a job, or wherever else the wind takes us, I want to remind you that this evening is not only about graduating, but it's also about reminiscing on our accomplishments and recognizing the struggles that we've overcome during these past years. A long journey of academic, social, mental, and emotional preparations have been leading up to this moment, and we should be all so proud of ourselves for making it here. This night is also about gratitude. Gratitude towards our peers, friends, and teachers who helped pick us up when we fell. I can't count how many times I myself have stumbled but got a helping hand from Lisa or my friends and fellow graduates Anaya, Zaya, and Raven. This school has really taught me so much, but I think the most important thing that I've learned here is to have compassion and to be considerate towards yourself and others. That's really what it means to be human, in my opinion. In fact, years ago, anthropologist Margaret Mead was asked by a student what she considered to be the first signs of civilization in a culture. 
The student expected Meade to talk about fish hooks or clay pots or grinding stones, but no. Meade said that the first sign of civilization in an ancient culture was a femur, a thigh bone, that had been broken and then healed. She explained that in the animal kingdom, if you break your leg, you die. You can't run from danger, you can't get river, water, or you can't even hunt for food. No animal in the wild survives a broken leg long enough for the bone to heal. However, a broken femur bone that has been healed is evidence that someone has taken time to stay with the one who has fell, has bound up their wound, carried them to safety, and tended to them throughout their recovery. Helping someone else through difficulty is where civilization starts, Mead says. With that being stated, I hope we can be civilized and continue to help each other through difficult times, just as those here at the school have helped with us. Thank you so much, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Our next uh, graduate speaker uh, from Countryside High School, Anaya Hunter. Friends, family, and other Valley folk. My name is Anaya Marie Hunter, as you already know. And, oop, I'm just gonna take this thing off. I'm not gonna lie, life was hard. Life was hard and uh, overbearing. Thank you, thank you very much. Man, I don't know what to say sometimes. Okay, now I just seem a little self-centered when I talk about this, but I was n not really a good student, at least before I came up here. Sometimes I'm a little surprised that I even graduated. But I'm here now, and sorry, I'm not really good at speaking things, but Sorry if I'm taking too long, really. Thank you and sorry for wasting your time. Natalie and Anaya, thank you both. It takes a lot of courage to come up here and to speak in front of family, friends, your peers. So thank you very much. Next, we're excited to present several of our students with scholarship awards. Recipients of tonight's scholarship awards were all chosen for both the success they had while in high school and for their plans to pursue a higher education. The first two scholarship awards, called the Dream Big Scholarship, are worth $400 each and were made possible by Lando Lakes and members of the community of Tulare. Recipients, please come to the podium when I call your name. From Tech Prep High School, our recipient is Jose Carillo.
congratulations, all right? All right. And for, uh, from Countryside High School, the recipient is Daniel Bravo. Next, a scholarship from the Tulare County School Boards Association in the amount of $300 goes to Countryside High School recipient, Natalie Greco. The last two awards, in the amount of $400 each, and made possible by both donations and fundraising for Tech Prep High School, go to recipients Serena Bejarano, And Matthew Velasquez. You just got this right through that one. You just got this one. Good job, Matt. We wish our scholarship recipients the very best and hope this money gives you both the opportunity and motivation to help you follow through with your dreams and goals. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the reason why we're here, right? It is my distinct privilege to read the following statement, and this primarily goes out to our school board and district office personnel. Two esteemed members of the Tulare Joint Union High School District Board of Trustees and district office personnel, as principal of Countryside High School and Tech Prep High School, I certify that the students on this stage tonight have successfully completed the requirements necessary for a high school diploma as prescribed by the Tulare Joint Union High School District. School board members and district office personnel, please stand and join me in the ceremonial granting of diplomas. Our first countryside student. Plans to go to COS, wants to be an esthetician. Zaya Lopez. Our next graduate from Tech Prep High School, plans to attend Job Corps or COS for carpentry dedicates his diploma to Mrs. Rocha, Jose Carrillo. Our next graduate from Tech Prep High School dedicates her diploma to her family for pushing her and telling her to keep going, Eliza Herrera. Our next graduate from Tech Prep High School plans to go to college and study cosmetology or architecture, dedicates her diploma to her parents, Mrs. Rocha and all of Tech Prep, Alondra Gastelum. Our 
Our next graduate from Tech Prep High School plans to go to COS to become a vet tech and work with animals. She dedicates her diploma to all of the staff at Tech Prep. They went through so much with me and I want to thank them for everything. Serena Bejarano. Our next graduate from Tech Prep High School plans to attend COS for Art, dedicates her diploma to her mom who has been there for her, Mrs. Rocha, and the entire Tech Prep family, Sochi Almaraz. Our next graduate from Tech Prep High School plans to go to COS for Art and Business dedicates his diploma to his mom and dad, Matthew Velasquez. Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to study cultural anthropology at COS and then transfer to university. She dedicates her diploma to her grandmother, Juanita, Natalia Juanita Greco. Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to attend COS for two years then transfer to university dedicates her diploma to her mom, dad, siblings, and the rest of her family, Anaya Marie Hunter. <laughs> Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to get his driver's license soon and then obtain a job, dedicates his diploma to his mom, dad, and his older sisters, Jose Mondragon. Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to attend COS, dedicates her diploma to her mom and Mrs. Rocha and Mrs. Austin, Lizanelli Macias. Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to attend COS and obtain a degree in welding, dedicates his diploma to Mrs. Rocha for helping him get through his tough journey. Daniel Bravo Sigala. <laughs> Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to go to COS and major in criminal law, dedicates her diploma to her mom, Nana, her dad, and her stepsisters, Chandler Miller. Our next graduate from Countryside High School plans to attend college, Raven Ravellis. Graduates, please stand. Please grab hold of your tassel with your left hand and move it to the left side of your cap. There we go. I hope the tassel was worth the hassle. La 
Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to formally introduce to you the Countryside High School and Tech Prep High School graduating class of 2021. Twenty-one.